This video will show you how we define a gated spillway structures in CADAM 3D. We already did a video which is called how to define a gravity dam profile. If you consult that video, you'll know how to build an hydraulic structure within CADAM 3D. Now the objective here is to show you pretty much the steps to go through the definition of a gated spillway. The gated spillway is pretty much composed of a runner, which I call spillway here, and a pier. You have the gates, you, here you have additional volume that was added to the model. But first, we did define the foundation. Here it was a single profile. So having this single profile, you don't have to define failure plane. And then we did define a spillway section. As you can see, we're not starting at x equal to zero here. We're starting somewhere onto the foundation. So we're not starting at the most upstream point because if you look here, the model, the pier is in contact at the most upstream point, not the spillway. So we did define the upstream starting point. We had a lot of segments. As you can see here, here we have defined all the available segments within CADAM 3D. So we have the linear, the circle arc, another linear, a power equation. In fact, no, we didn't put the polynomial there, but it's one of the, the things that is available into this, this thing. Uh, downstream rotation point, compute volume, is pretty much the same thing as you will find into the gravity dam dialog box. So once you have defined your section here and put the section depth, you can define your pier. And then the pier will start from the upstream here. You don't have the choice. So your starting point will be forced here and you will proceed like this with the segmentation up to the downstream point, most downstream point. Once you have done that, then you'll have to define the pier, nose shape. There's many nose shape that are available in 2CADAM 3D. You select the one that you want to use. And then from that one, you set up the parameters and you say which segments are going to be uh, using this nose. So for this case, we only have one segment, which is segment number one. So number one is always the first one to be used. And then if you want to use more segments, you just select them here and then put the number. Uh, the form coefficient for pin nose for ice and pack, this is another parameter that you put here. This will be pretty much uh, adjusted depending on the type of nose that you are using. So you don't have to play with this number. Once this is done, you have to set up your gates and slots. So if you want to use a vertical gates, a radial gates, and if you are using a vertical gates, where are the gates location? in X and what is the height of your gate and then for the slots what is the width and the uh, and the depth of the slots if you have stop logs you can set them up here if you have an upstream stop log put the numbers here if you don't have any stop logs don't put any numbers there it will not be considered and then you simply click OK and if you want to make your cross section vary you can do it here so by default is using the same width of the pier nose. So let's say for instance that I want to change the width at the end here at this level. So I can put it to value of three and then I will update. So it will reduce the section like this but will not affect the nose width. So I can add another width at midpoint around maybe 20 meter. Okay and put it to uh, 4.572. And then say add. So I can make a section vary like this. And that's it. You have defined your section. Thank you.